Uh, I just thought I'd show you our little terrace in the daytime. We have uh, Fewa Lake over here and be beautiful, beautiful views of the mountains out in the distance. This is the uh, main uh, street, lakeside, that just wraps around, full of restaurants and other fun things to do. So I think on the docket today is gonna be mostly food. So uh, let's uh, go out, get some breakfast, and uh, I'll show you what uh, we're gonna eat and uh, what Pokhara has to offer for the hungry post trekker. And I'm sitting at one of uh, many people's favorite places, which is the juicery. And uh, there's Kailani. <laughs> it's right on the lake here. And uh, they specialize in juices, obviously, but also just fresh foods, which I've been lacking so much of during that trek. So I got an acai bowl and Kailani got an omelet and some eggs and some coffees. So let's see if it lives up to the hype, the juicery lakeside at uh, Poker. up at the juicery. The food was fantastic. Uh, it was $4.50 for the acai bowl, $4.50 for the omelet, and $1.70 for the coffees. So I think it come, came out to something around like $4 for breakfast, which is awesome. Now we're on our way to check out the climbing gym here. So maybe we'll get some bouldering in. Um, Kailani and I left our shoes back in Kathmandu, but uh, yeah, it should be a good time. So see you there. Here at the Pokhara climbing wall, let's see if we can't test out some of these uh, climbs. We've got, I think, four different uh, levels of difficulty. It's taped, uh, easy, intermediate, hard, and advanced. So uh, I've been climbing for maybe 10, 15 minutes, and the hard ones are pretty easy, and the advanced ones are a little tricky, but everything else is pretty straightforward. Very small wall, you can see behind me, this is pretty much the whole thing from that side to this side. So it's quite nice to be outside and it's nice and cool and shade here. So uh, there's a couple places where you can exercise. Exercise, there is uh, a pull-up bar right there. And you can do some dips over here. They have one kettlebell, and yeah, it's 100 for shoes, 100 for chalk, 500 for time. I got a food punch pass for 1200, so you don't even really save that much, but it's not super expensive. But yeah, let's see if we can hop on this wall and get some punch pass. So we're starting here and here, and we're going. I just my foot just fell into the mat like that, not great. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's this red climb, these guys right here. Not so bad. Let's try out uh, a green hard one. All right, this one looks pretty simple. Starting here and following up. I don't think that that color's on. This guy, this guy. I don't think so. <laughs> and then finishing right there.
wrapped up at the climbing gym. It was awesome. It's a really cute, small wall. They have two kind of big walls uh, and a nice, really nice bouldering area. Uh, I had to rent some shoes because I left mine in Kathmandu uh, and that was 100 rupees. So really not a bad, uh, not a bad gig, especially because they have a really cute cafe there. And uh, I'm gonna go back later this afternoon to climb some more. Um, I, we were feeling a little bit thirsty, so we went to the Karma Cafe and got a little boba. And now we're sitting at the Basundara Park, something like that. And uh, yeah, it's been really beautiful. There's lots of people here fishing. It's really chilled out and quiet. And uh, so we're gonna do this, uh, maybe get some lunch, go to a movie tonight. So I think they're playing Blade Runner in the garden. Uh, and then back to the climbing gym. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really nice day. All right, back on the road after a short little breather in our room. We are on a hunt now for a tandoori non house for a cheap lunch. We found our non place. We are at Kaple Non House, and I have got the dal fry as well as three roti and Kailani got the garlic naan, and uh, what did you get, Kailani, what's it called? Rajma. And a rajma, which is kind of like a, a salty uh, bean uh, gravy, curry. And mine is just like uh, lentils, oil, and spices. Very delicious, super salty, really rich and hearty. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna dig in. This is fantastic. The prices for everything were amazing. Um, I think for the dal fry it was 150 and for the roti it was 30 each so 90 and 150 just a couple of bucks for an amazing lunch it's gonna fill us up let's see how it tastes here is the roti with the uh, dal fry mmm that tastes amazing. It's buttery, smooth, lots of flavor from the spices, and coriander, and lentils are very good for you. So, a really affordable way to eat here in Pokhara. Um, a little bit off the beaten trail. We're the only people in the restaurant. Here we are. That's way better lighting too. And. Uh, yeah, if you're in town, I would definitely recommend coming to eat at this place for a quick and delicious meal. I'm sure we'll be here again. All right, that food was so good that we had to get some more. So we got a cheese naan, and it is exactly like a, just a little cheese quesadilla, and he painted it in butter. Mm. It tastes just like back home. Delicious. If you're here, come here for a cheap, quick snack. It's fantastic, you won't be disappointed. This evening, we are going to go see a movie at the movie garden. They're playing the big Lebowski. So join me there for maybe some pizza and some popcorn and a nice movie to finish our chill out in Pokhara. All right, we're at Mo Two's Delights in search of the famous chocolate-filled Momo. They're deep fried. And I haven't had one yet, but let's take a bite inside to see what's going on. Mm. Mm. It tastes like Nutella in maybe like a crepey like consistency of dough, fried dough. It's really, it's actually quite good. I thought it was gonna be a little worse than it is because it looks like it's very oily and deep fried, but really the chocolate flavor comes through. And that was delicious. It's 150 rupees for five of these. So we ordered one and it took maybe 30 minutes to get here. Maybe we should have ordered two. <laughs> This woman is making chai by putting the like molten uh, clay cup and pouring the chai directly on top and it's creating a kind of smoky mezcal-ish uh, chai flavor with uh, masala spices. 
it's delicious and these cups were just made and there's little chunks of like uh, coconut and spices in here and when you finish with the cup it goes right in the bin and I guess they just break them down and maybe they make new ones out of them so ah, fantastic uh, we're having dinner here at OR2K which is a more Middle Eastern inspired restaurant uh, Kailani got uh, a really really beautiful looking dinner and I got a Burek and it has, I think I'm saying that right, I'm not sure, but um, it's a filo dough pastry uh, stuffed with cheese. You can also get a potato one. It has salsa and it comes with an egg. The pastry is delicious and crispy, layered, buttered. It's fantastic. It just got very busy here as I started recording that. And uh, Kailani got the bruschetta. So we are eating here tonight. We just had amazing views of the lake and the sunset. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling out and having some nice food.